right now on Wildlifers. Dan and Dustin are on safari with Stephanie, Race, and Lacey for their first ever trip to Africa. Three of them have set their sights on accomplishing a Springbok Grand Slam. My first African animal. This prestigious hunt is no small feat. This is a difficult hunt. This you know, is not an easy hunt. Bajan safaris, I mean, they're awesome. They know where these animals live. They know where to set you up. Even if only one of them tag out on the four colors needed, it will be a true accomplishment. Yes! Woo! We've been seeing a lot of spring buck. This is a very different way of hunting over here. That's so be exciting. It. This is gonna be it. It's gonna yeah. be it. There are three roads that lead to the same destination. There are three players seeking to achieve one goal. Why do I hunt? It's who I am. Where do I find the passion? It's in my blood. How do I keep going? It's what I live for. We are the Wildlifers. Dan, Stephanie, and one of their sons, Race, along with Dustin and his wife, Lacey, have been in South Africa with Bajan Safaris on a 14-day long hunt. During the initial hunt overview when first arriving to camp, Philip mentioned the possibility to achieve a Springbok Slam, and the whole Wildlifer crew agreed it would be great to try and complete one while here. Our outfitter mentioned that a Springbok Slam was something pretty unique to Africa. We thought, hey, let's just see if we can pull this off. It's really cool because you get to shoot a common Springbok, you get to shoot a white Springbok, a black Springbok, and a copper Springbok. And they are all uniquely different. They are some really cool little creatures. I mean, they are, they're a little antelope, they're fast, they can see good, they live in wide open spaces, and they're gonna be tough, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. Here we are, another great morning here in South Africa. We're in an area where there's a bunch of springbuck. So we're gonna peek over this hill and see if uh, we can find these springbuck down this bottom. And are you excited? I'm super excited. There's a lot of different kinds of springbuck and there's uh, several different kinds in this area and we're excited to see. And we have more after all four of them. So it doesn't matter which one's over there and you never know what's over this hill. So let's go check it out and see what's up on top. The Springbuck Slam is a very prestigious hunt, so it was just an amazing opportunity. As soon as they crested the hillside, they came across a large herd of Springbuck, and their P.H. Hendrick immediately spotted a mature buck for Lacey. I see him. See I'm on him. He's the only one on the right. I'm on him. He's facing the right and he's walking by. Um. Keep, keep going to the right. Following him. Okay, stop behind that bush. Okay. Can I put it on fire? Yes. Put it, I'm put it on fire. Okay. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. And then you whistle at him. Just wait, I'm gonna whistle for him to stop. Alright, I'm on him. <laughs> I just got my first black, oh my gosh, spring bug. You don't even know what she no, shot. No, I, so I just can't breathe. Wow, and I think he's a really nice ram. I can't wait to go get him. You know, this, this ram, we've been watching him coming <gasps> for, I, I mean, I ranged him first, he was like 480 yards. Than just chasing does and chasing little bucks around, and he just beeline right to us. Yeah. It was like perfect. We, we we're just patient, were patient, yeah. we were patient, and let him walk over here. I think she just shot him about 190 yards, maybe, and dropped him in his track. Good shot. Okay. Oh, thank you. That's uh, Lacey's first spring buck. Too. Yeah, her first spring buck. Oh my gosh! Oh, he is beautiful. What a ram! Look at this! Beautiful. That's what I said about the spring buck. If 
they start turning back here. They start turning back, that's yeah. when they're getting that's mature. Most immature it is, but it's a really old thing, so. This guy's just full of knowledge about these animals. It's really amazing. <laughs> it does smell, it that's smells good. And he's gonna school. He's gonna school me for a black spring hook. Really? Yeah, we don't care about that. No. no. We're really into the whole school thing. We just like hunting. Man. We get to eat what we kill. We get to spend time with new friends. Yes. Family. That's why we hunt. I've had a great about time with you guys. Course, you <laughs> it's know. been an awesome few days so far. I just can't wait for the rest of the week. Wildlifers is brought to you by Bill Fick Ford. That's no bull. Vault Aviation, a different kind of whitetail. Barnes Precision Machine, USA made with unmatched performance. Wise Eye Tech. And Mellon Creek Outfitters, raising standards, not fences. Stephanie, Lacey, and Race are attempting to accomplish a Springbok slam while on safari in Africa. And so far, they're off to a great start, with all three of them harvesting one. They're beautiful. Yeah! <laughs> Race has been able to mark the black Springbok off his list. And their PH Hendrick has just spotted another large herd on the hillside. Okay, guys, we just saw a bunch of spring up. They're making their way up this cliff. So That's a draw in America. <laughs> <laughs> That's a draw. So let's get set up there. Huh? Okay. What do you think the best thing is to we just go find us a good spot in the shade and sit yes. tight and wait on yes. us? Yes, we must just sit in the shade. There was Something more than really one. Nice. There yeah. was coppers and, and there was... One. Yeah. yeah, let's go get up there and okay. set up and wait on them. Yes, man. It's a double. <laughs> well done. That's what I'm talking about. That was awesome. Hey. Oh my gosh. You shot a oh. copper and then you got the common at <laughs> the same setup. That a boy. Yeah, that Come works. on now. That works. Hey, that's the way you catch up right there. Yeah. Man. Yesterday you didn't get one. Today you just got two in like 20 seconds. That's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. Really beautiful. Wow. Just look at it. Yeah. Wow. Look at that wide spread. Yeah. Wide. Yeah. Heavy. Heavy. It's just beautiful. Look at this character he's got here fighting with the other rams. <laughs> A little bit of the run too you were oh, talking he's about. Pretty old man. Man, congratulations. Awesome. Man. Thank you. Thank you. Look how beautiful these animals are. Good job. You made a really good, good shot. That's a Thank you. awesome shot. You know what's even cooler? We got another one right over there. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have to walk far either. Huh? Well, there he is. Right there. 
Wow. Beautiful. Oh, heavy. Yeah. Look at that shot you made. Whew. Beautiful shot. Well, race. Um, this doesn't happen a lot. You took two of your Grand Slam in like 30 seconds, yeah. man. So, <laughs> good, day. good job, Thank huh? you. Thank you. Race played college baseball at a high level, so for him, Grand Slam. So you've got a guy on first, a guy on second, a guy on third. Now when you hit, shoot the white one, you can finish your Grand Slam. Right. Hit it out of the park. Man, congratulations. Thank you. That Congrats, is man. two really beautiful rounds in, you know, a very short time. Race, good job, huh? You got two at one time? Yeah. You got bloody two. Really? So those both were your shots. We thought somebody missed and then shot again. <laughs> were they good ones? Let me see. He did good. I think one of the big things about hunting that's important to me is the fact that it's such a tradition. And any time that I can take on 45 years of knowledge and pass it on to my son or sons, you're only furthering a tradition, and tradition is something in today's day and time that's becoming more and more infrequent, and that's just a shame. Race, way to go! He's really nice. He's got some good ones. Yeah, he's got good ones. Way to, like, show us up. <laughs> this segment is brought to you by... Barnes Precision Machine. USA made with unmatched performance. What a beautiful animal. The Wildlifer crew is hot on attempting to accomplish a spring box slam. Race has just secured a double, harvesting both a copper and a common, leaving both him and Stephanie with only a white remaining. Lacey's also been having good success. Yes! <laughs> as she's been able to harvest two spring box so far. What do y'all think about lunch today? What was that thing called? Y'all enjoy the pies? Yeah. What is this? Pie, those pies are good. I, I ate two of them. I ate one in here. Well, first of all, when you go to Africa, the food there, they kind of haven't figured out how to cook yet. It's good, but I'm not going to elevate it to great just yet, and I've been there a lot. You know, you do a lot of walking, you do a lot of stalking, it's hot, it's cold. You know, there's all the ingredients for it for you to be really hungry. Well, I see these, these fried pies that everybody's eating, and I'm thinking, you know, we've been here for 10 days, finally going to eat something that looks a little bit like Texas. I'm excited, and I open up my bag, and I've got a bottle of water and a pack of gum. There isn't one in here. <laughs> he ate his pie. I ate yours. Oh, that's almost low life. You, <laughs> you already ate it. Do I swear to pie? God Almighty, there's not one in there. Oh, come on. There's pies in every one. I swear to God, there's not one in there. He was not happy that he didn't have a meat pie. And I just played along with it for a little bit. And I'm going to tell you, he was thinking he got he got shafted. I don't have a meat pie. Where's it at? What the hell's going on here? What What's going on? But I should have known. Mueller, all the way. You want my pie? I swear it on Daniel. There it is. You sure? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's been waiting for that for an hour. Dude. I was fixing to write a note in there and put, thanks for the pie, Dan. <laughs> but y'all came up too fast. Eventually I gave it to him. I should just ate it. It did not take long for Hendrick, Lacey, and Dustin to locate another herd of springbok with a good, common-colored male for Lacey to add to her Grand Slam list. Okay, Lacey, there's a big herd of springbok coming. Okay. And we just wait for them to come through this valley here. Okay. They will come up here, so let me just look. Okay. Oh, they're coming right at they're us. Coming, coming right, right at us, so. Coming right at us. Really nice common ram right in front of the group. The first one? The first one, yeah. Hey, the first one, hun, if he stops us, thank you. Okay, I'm, I'm on him. I'm on him. Yeah, I'm on the first one. I'm waiting for him to stop. Watch him, watch him, watch him. He's going down. 
Yes! Oh my good gosh! Shot. You gonna say? Oh, You're in a good shot. Man, after a rough day yesterday, I'm glad to get one down this morning. Then yes. I tell you what, that was a giant herd of springbuck, and we happened oh. to be set in the right spot, and they were just trotting right to us, and they turned right at the last minute and gave her a great what 140 yard shot yeah. Yeah. and she it looks like she made a good shot and he flopped around there and just went down it's just so intense because there's so many of them and they all look the same yeah. and they don't oh. stand still long. luckily he was like like he 20 was, yards in front yeah. of all the whole groups good job man it's a rush man oh let's, let's go get him let's go, let's go check get him out <sighs> so excited oh Ooh. he is he look he looks yeah. a lot like races yeah. he's very similar He's kind of starting to turn just a little bit. He's starting to turn back. It looks like on that one. Oh, he's really pretty. Got the common, <laughs> the black and the white. One more to go, man. That what an exciting morning. He's really nice. This is a difficult hunt. This know, is not an easy hunt. This is not an easy hunt. I mean, they're not coming out, stopping for no. a long period of time. You know, in, in order to get the camera on them and get you on them or the shooter. Now the main thing I've killed are whitetail at home and they don't come at you in herds, you know. It's way different. It's yeah. way different. But luckily he was right in front. Uh, yes. And he was like 20 yards in front of the group, so oh, that, that made makes it way it easy. easier. Yeah. So I can't wait to get him back and eat his back straps. <laughs> Incredibly, the list of springbok needed to complete their slam is getting shorter and shorter for Stephanie, Race, and Lacey. Grayland, Stephanie's PH, has just located a herd with a nice white springbok in it, the last one needed on her list. Facing us, yes, yes. He's the one looking at us. Okay. I'm gonna wait till he's broadside. I don't want to shoot him. Okay, he has the red one right in front of him. He's, look, he's looking back right now. Okay, he's good. Okay, I'm gonna wait till he just turns a little bit. Okay. 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 You him? I got him. <laughs> <laughs> Well oh my gosh, that was fast. <laughs> I had no idea that would go that fast. Well done. Oh, you could see the blood on the side of it. Yeah. 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 Oh, I cannot wait to see him. Oh my gosh. I didn't know that would go that fast. I thought we'd be sitting here waiting for him to come by, but they must have just been right there. Oh, he's gonna be all pink, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, he's beautiful. Look at that. Well done. He is beautiful. This is older than probably seven years. Really? They're just beautiful. I've never seen anything like that, like a clear iridescent horn. Those horns are with black in it. Mm-hmm. If you know what I mean. Just a little bit, but they scrapped this off, that's why. You can see the black wow. is going straight through here. And this is how you judge by the ear, how high the... Wow. They're beautiful. Just beautiful. I cannot believe it. I'm so excited. I just completed my spring buck slam here in Africa. Well, I think that any organization or any business is only as good as the people that take care of it. And that family that owns that business is just simply great people. And it shows in the hunting business that they have. I mean, we have so many people trying to get this Springbok slam 
You know, in my mind, I'm thinking if one of us does it, we'll be doing good. But we pulled it off with everybody. We were 100%. And I think that's only a testament to that family. Uh, Philip and his brothers do a phenomenal job. I would recommend this place to everybody. Whether it's your first time or your fifth time to be in Africa, it's, it's gorgeous here. They do an amazing job. Everything about this place, I'm just, I'm blown away by it. Springbok, I think, may be comparable to people that haven't been over there to a whitetail, and more specifically compared to, to whitetail in Texas, where the properties are of such expanse that the populations just blow up. Like whitetail, springbok are prolific as can be. And due to some really, really good predator control in Africa, the survival rate of the young is very, very high. So the hunting, again, keeps the numbers where they need to be. And we ate the spring buck that we shot. You know, it is extremely good. And then whatever we didn't eat, Bijan staff kept some. Some was taken to, you know, families that may, may or may not have that kind of source of protein. Hunting doesn't just take care of the animal. That's a big part of it. But every aspect of hunting takes care of every aspect in the community in one way or another. An example of that would be that two or three times when we would drive through town going to another area to hunt, we'd stop at the coffee shop. Well, simply, if we weren't in Africa hunting, then whatever that coffee shop made off of us wouldn't have made it. We affect much more than just the management of wildlife. We affect the community as a whole, almost on every front, and 100% in a positive light. Closed captioning is brought to you by Vault Aviation, a different kind of whitetail.